Welcome back to the Data Science Mentor, where I help you become and grow as a data scientist. In today's video, we're going to talk data science and give pointers to anyone who wishes to get started with becoming a data scientist. So stay tuned. Every now and then, I get asked by colleagues, friends, and even some strangers on LinkedIn, how can I get started if I want to become a data scientist? Some of them even express to me their frustration with not knowing where to start. Because every data scientist they talk to would tell them a different story about how they became a data scientist. Now, this is expected. Because data science is a relatively new field, there isn't like a defined curriculum or path to becoming a data scientist. Also, because data science is multidisciplinary, it can overwhelm a person who's wishing to get started. So in this video, I hope to simplify the process for you. I'm not gonna talk anything advanced here, only what you would need to get started. And I have categorized that into knowledge areas and tools. Now, as far as knowledge areas are concerned, by looking into what data science is, you should get some direction into what knowledge you would need to acquire to get started. Well, data science is essentially using data to solve real world problems. Now, the data that you will use will most likely be sitting in some sort of a database. So you will need to learn how to work with database management systems to query data from databases. Now, there are two types of databases. There is relational databases and there is non-relational databases. So to get started, I would start with the easier of the two, which is relational databases. And I would start with learning SQL, which is a programming language to access data in a relational database management system. Now, mode.com has an excellent tutorial on SQL, and I would definitely recommend it as a starting point. So I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Once you have the data, you will need to clean it, explore it and analyze it. And for that, you will need to learn some programming. Now, the number one programming language for data scientists is Python. While you'll find some companies that use R to do data science, but they're really a very, very small minority. And from my experience, their culture tends to resemble that of research institutions. So Python is a programming language that you should start learning. Now, not all data science projects require the use of machine learning or any other subset of artificial intelligence. You can actually work on many data science problems and solve them with some data analysis and effective data visualizations. But for problems where you will need to test some statistical significance or build a model to automate a process, you will need to learn some statistics and machine learning. For statistics, focus on learning about the different types of variables how to determine if variables are correlated, and how to determine if the difference between variables is statistically significant. As for machine learning, focus on supervised learning and unsupervised learning. No need to go into reinforcement learning and deep learning for now. For supervised learning, start with linear regression, logistic regression, support vector machines, and random forests. For unsupervised learning, it would be great if you know k-means clustering and how to determine the optimum number of clusters or groups. Now, when I say learn, I don't mean how to import these algorithms from some library in Python and using them. I mean really learn how these algorithms work and the math behind them. Because to work as a data scientist and to succeed as a data scientist, you can't treat machine learning as a black box. As a matter of fact, I encountered a number of individuals who became data scientists and who learned data science through some online courses. And while they knew how to use machine learning algorithms in Python, they always seemed to struggle with debugging models and trying to improve their performance because they didn't fully understand how the algorithms worked. So my point is, you really need to invest the time to understand how the different machine learning algorithms work Otherwise, it would be difficult to excel as a data scientist. Now, I'll be creating a series of videos dedicated to each of these topics 
to help you get started on Python, statistics, and machine learning from a data science perspective. As for tools, make sure you start working on adding the following to your tool belt. We already mentioned Python. Well, Python comes with a lot of libraries. So to get started, try to focus on NumPy and Pandas for data analysis, Matplotlib and Seaborn for data visualization, and Scikit-learn for machine learning. Another tool that's crucial to working as a data scientist is being familiar with version control systems like Git and its platform, GitHub. Now, GitHub is an awesome platform because it helps you store, maintain, and even share your code. So a very good strategy that I always recommend to those starting is to use your GitHub account to create more like a profile of interesting projects that you've worked on, which you then can use to showcase your work to potential employers. So it's really important to have a GitHub account and to populate it with interesting projects. Also, you need to be comfortable with running shell commands, like navigating into different directories, creating new directories, finding files and listing them and deleting them. Knowing such shell commands will definitely come in handy when you start working with tools and services on the cloud. Now, in the next couple of videos, I'll walk you through the process of setting each of these tools up on your machine and getting started. And with this, I hope that this video helps you clear your mind about what you would need to learn and focus on to get started on this journey of becoming a data scientist. If you found this video helpful and educational and think it might help someone else who is aspiring to become a data scientist, please make sure to share it with them. I'll see you next time.